We've all heard the horror stories of the Oklahoma County Jail. Jess Eddy leaving with his own. And it's a, a very dangerous place. Uh, they're understaffed, they're underpaid, um, it's, it's, it's dirty. One of seven arrested Monday for refusing to leave a sit-in at District Attorney David Prater's office. But it's time to go. Eddie spending nearly 24 hours in lockup, now with another problem on his hands. I got out of jail and just was eaten up by bed bugs. He says he was in a jail cell with 18 other inmates. Nothing but the raw floor to lay on. When I asked for a towel to lay on, they wouldn't give me a towel, no blankets. I made a bed out of tissue paper. Also telling News 4, COVID-19 precautions thrown out the window. As we were getting our fingerprints stamped, I saw that nobody was wiping the fingerprint scanner in between person to person, and I asked if they could do that, and she laughed and said, we wiped it yesterday. News 4 reaching out to the Oklahoma County Jail Trust for their side of the story, assuring us COVID-19 is taken very seriously and that there have been no other complaints of bed bugs. They did, however, point the finger at the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Office for insufficient pest control prior to the jail trust taking over operations last month. If you cannot provide humane incarceration to people, then you're subjecting them to cruel and unusual punishment. The jail trust tells me they're working to get bids for a new pest control service now, also saying that when the OK County Sheriff's Department was in control, the only floor ever treated for pests was the first. Live downtown, Taylor Adams, Oklahoma's News.